<laughs> Remember, we are doing an experiment to the best of our ability. And with that, we are learning left and right how to do things. Okay, so we're going to replay the scenario. Mm -hmm. All right. We are going to back this guy up. Okay, take him out. All right. Describe what you're doing. I mean, I just kind of threw you in the midst of things. Well, here you are, do to do to do, just be bopping along, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So, so, and you're actually, you know, there's caves up here. You, you have a, a, there's caves or stuff, because otherwise, why would you, you're coming in here looking for treasure, right? So, so mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. okay. So, it's not like you're just blindly walking into things. So, okay. You know, so, as I'm walking and I stop and I kind of hide behind a tree or hide behind something and I'm, I'm I send the owl out like about 100 feet around you know he spot you know come there and then once i didn't then i stop and i walk about another 20 feet 25 okay. feet stop you know and then he's circling you know and i basically checking in with the owl every other round or so to make sure that there's nothing okay so you're going to get advantage on this roll yeah all right let's do it okay, because so please note i mean I've got no armor. I'm just a simple mage. I know. Yeah, I know. I know. Let's do. So let's roll it up. You roll two d twenty, and okay. you're going to add plus three to it. All right. Okay. So go ahead and do that. All right. Yeah, and I and I watched when you when you post these things. It'd be nice if folks saw the rolls. I can't do that. I don't know how to do it. It doesn't work out. 20. Oh wow! Natural, natural twenty. But if I roll a twenty, I beat you. That's okay. But I didn't roll a 20. Okay, so mm -hmm. I can't – I don't know how to show the rolls. It's kind of weird. It doesn't yeah, show no up. Worries. No, it stinks, but we can't do anything. But, but you got an 11, and I've got a 20. A 20 so. and, a, and a 9. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, so you're kind of bopping up, and sure enough, uh, Wallace – Wally, would you Wally. call him? Yeah. Okay, go for Wally. All right. Uh, and I'll do my best to draw your little owl friend. This is what he looks like from a distance. He's got these big eyes that go like this, and, of course – that's his wing. Oh my God. I am the artiste of artiste. All right. Uh, who, who, whatever. And he sees, uh, right. you know, oh, there's bad stuff up ahead. Right. Yeah. Um, and obviously you close your eyes and you can actually see them. There's like eight of them up in here, up in this right. tree, just waiting on you. Yeah. There you go. Gotcha. All right. All right. And for whatever reason, even though I've got a 16 intelligence, I decide that I'm going to take on eight kobolds. <laughs> <laughs> for whatever reason well there there's is. treasure there's tra it's all about the treasure it's all about all the about treasure. okay all I'm, about a, I'm a yeah. greedy son of a gun all <laughs> yeah. right so um you're looking for your lost dog or i don't know what you're doing go ahead, keep going anyways uh, okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um go 120 feet from them w within 120 feet of them yep I'll okay 120 feet Gotcha. And All right. I am going to, um, and I guess the question is, if they don't spot me, do I have advantage on this roll? That, that's my big question with 5e. When do I have advantage on the rolls, combat rolls? Because uh, would, would this not be that they don't know I'm there, or or do they know I'm there? They know I'm walking up. Well, I mean, the thing is, they're not hidden. Their perception. Okay, this is where it's a little. This is the DM yeah, thing. Weird. Yeah. Unless I, you don't really get advantage unless yeah. it specifically said so. Okay. So you don't get like oh you. No, I don't see where everyone gets advantage on their first hit. It, it's just not. Yeah, I mean, you could get surprise, which means you got a first hit for free. That's what you're okay. getting, right? So you're gonna get your first hit, and then we're gonna roll for initiative. That's what you're getting. The but, first one's free. The next one rolling for initiative to see what happens. Sure. Right, go ahead. But what I thought in the rules is that if you had surprise, you had advantage. Where is this? Where is that rule? Oh, God. It's Give me a page it talked, number. It talked about, was it combat? This was, and, and, and I'll be honest with you, and I could be wrong. This is where I was trying to figure out the advantage, disadvantage. I, I understand. It says right here, page 189. A okay. band of adventurers sneaks up on a bandit, springing from the trees to attack him. A gelatinous cube slides down. Okay, 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 okay. All right. DM determines who, who will be surprised. If neither side tries to be stealthy, the honor actually knows each other. Otherwise, the DM compares the dexterity stealth checks of anyone hiding from the passive wisdom scores of somebody else. Right? That's what we already did. Okay. The creature doesn't notice the threat. It's surprised at the start of the encounter. If you're surprised, you can't move or take an action on your first turn. You okay. can't take a reaction until the turn ends. So basically, you don't get like a bonus. No, you don't gotcha. get advantage. You just 
you get a free shot at them. That's what you're gotcha. getting. Just like you would normally play. That's right. What we're so no, right. That, yeah. but that's good to know. That's just yeah. like swords and wizardry. All right. Yeah. Right. Boom. And just like regular basic D and D. Right. Right. So All you right. get to do something, and it can't. You could take as much time as you want to get ready to do this. Essentially, is what it is. Well, I'm going to aim. Um, oh no! What I'm going to do first is I'm going to cast Mage Armor. Ah, see now you're smart. You and your owl. So I'm going to put an AC 16 over your head. There we go. Yeah. Yay! So I've got Mage okay. Armor now, All and right. and that's one of my slots. I only have one other spell left. First level spell. Okay. I thought you had three. Oh no, you're right. Mage armor. Yeah, okay. that, yeah, yes, you're right. Okay. So I've got two others. Two other ones. Yeah, you're it good. Should not be mage armor. Thank you. Yeah, you you don't have much. You better count all the things you got. Yes. <laughs> okay, go I ahead. But I do have two spell slots available. Okay, because mage armor was that magic initiative. Yeah, thing. so you get mage that free. That's a freebie. Go ahead. Yep. All right, eleven plus five is sixteen. What are you doing? That's oh, I cast firebolt. Okay, so you're passing at just one of them. That's all I can do. Unless, I mean, I'm not going to cast sleep. I'm not going to waste my sleep now. I, okay. I'm not, yeah, I'm just, I, you didn't tell me what you were doing. You just <laughs> rolled it. I do what you're up to. I was like, what's he doing? I have no idea what he's doing. I, I rolled an 11. I, 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 Mike, I think you played too much DD. It's all fall apart. <laughs> You're confused, man. Read my mind. Okay, um, we've been playing a while, but I'm not that good yet. All right, sure. so, so plus I five. Cast, so I cast mage armor, and then I speed <laughs> myself, and I cast firebolt at the one that I knew of as kobold number one. Okay, cool. Kobold number one. Yeah. yeah obviously, he got hit because you got plus five. That's sixteen. That's gonna pop him, right? Yeah. Uh, and at that point, you got to roll for damage. It's one d ten. Yep. Right. Do you get do you add stuff to that or no? I do not, unfortunately. It's four though. Okay, boom. So you cinch the hell out. Boom. There's an explosion. Now I'm gonna do a perception check that they figure out you're out there now. Yeah. Because you just got hit with a magical blah, right? Yeah. So uh for them to perceive you. So I think does the firebolt it comes out of your hand. Yeah. Or the one. Uh, oh, yeah, they're going to know you're there. All right, okay, all right, okay. So, like, a magic missile just appears, and boom, you don't know where it came from, actually, technically, right? Yeah. But this one, this will be an obvious something. A fire thing comes out your, your right. finger, streaks across the yard, uh, just kind of gets you an idea what happened here. Yeah. So, they're going to know that you're there after that. So, yeah. and you go, all right. And you can then you also go, help. It also can catch things on fire if it... Yeah, so I don't know. I don't well, think he's going to catch on fire, but no, he's not. So uh, what he's going to do that is some pretty intense trickery from a very far distance. They do have, uh, I believe, ar, ar, ar. <laughs> it's like I just, I'm rolling eleven. <laughs> that was my favorite so far today. All right, I'm sure we'll have another one for this thing's over. Let's go back. I think we're going to have to do the. Uh, Initiative? Well, yeah, we're going to roll for initiative. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, according to what you have written here, we're going to see how this rolls out. Okay, this is cool. Yeah. All right. So, uh, there, uh, yeah, let's do the initiative. Okay. That seems about the most proper thing. And the, we're doing the 20 sided die thing again because it's 5e. Yeah, he gets plus two. What would you get? What's your I, got a, I got a plus three. All right. I rolled. I got a. Oh, you're going first, Mike. Got a, a rolled natural 20. Kibetcha's rolling a lot better than Wally did. Well, that Wally might be the thing that saves you. But yeah, you, you get to go again. Okay. Well, um, then uh, I'm going to cast fire. Now, so there's still, there's seven still in the tree. They've not. Come there's out eight yet. still in the tree. You no, didn't kill them. One's dead. No, he's not dead. I did four points of damage to him. Oh, I, he's, he's not dead. Nope. Because oh. it says five hit points. Oh, well, thank you very much. Okay. Makes sense. Well, I'm going to cast... Um, I'm going to cast... Uh, I'm still going to cast it at number two. Number two. You're moving to the next guy? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Shoot. Oh, I got to roll the dice. I'm sorry. I thought I just would hit him. 
I didn't hit. I got to I got to roll. Uh, what twenty? 20? Yeah. Oh, miss. <laughs> uh, they are going to chuck javelins, but they do it with disadvantage. Now, this is funny. The javelin goes from thirty to one hundred and twenty feet. You're at one hundred and twenty feet, so mm -hmm. you're in the disadvantage range. However. They get pack advantage, but the sun gives them disadvantage. So the whole thing is they're just getting disadvantage on this thing. So we're going to do this. they got to be hitting a 16, but they get a plus four on the roll. So we're rolling in groups of two for eight of them. Okay? You follow that? Was that confusing? So what I, go roll, I go roll eight times, okay. two 20-side dice. The lowest number is going to be added four okay. to it. If it hits 16, basically if they hit a 12, you yeah. got hit. Okay? Right. On the lowest number. No. Miss two misses, three misses, four misses, five misses. It's a hit. Six is a hit. Yeah. Okay. And we'll do the next one. Seven's a hit. Yeah. So you got two hits. So he's dead. It's 1d6. Two. And. Oh, nope. he's still alive. Four hit points. You're still alive. Yay. He's down four. Yes. Okay. So so they're not doing slings. Uh no. Okay. I'm doing the one in the book. They say okay. throw javelins because now you're too far away. You're you're counting on the sling, weren't you? I sure was. Well, I wasn't counting on any of the crap you pulled out of the sling. <laughs> I just I'm reading the what's in the book on yeah, the uh the good. five e book. They give javelins one d six. I'm like, well, okay. I mean, you're playing hardcore now. You get fifty spells and seventeen cantrips. I got to do something. <laughs> this is not a challenge for him. Not a challenge. I don't know. It'll be a challenge. All right, let's see what's happening here. Okay. Oh yeah. All so right. yeah, they, they're they're gonna be a little tougher, I guess. <laughs> I don't, sure. I, we could do the sling, but no, you're good. good. You, you're good. You're good. You're mad. You're mad. I could tell you're fuming. No, 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 no. no. Okay, it just, right. it just, it just changes what I was gonna think. Uh, I know it does. That's what made it fun. <laughs> <laughs> you told me treat you, treat you like any game. Got to make it a challenge. Okay. Okay. Top of the order to you. And they're all still in the tree. Well, they did a throw, and now they're be coming down. Yeah, they're coming down. How many so, are coming down? Uh I think they're all coming down because you're from a distance and you're using fire. It's magic. So they're all coming out of the tree. Okay. The hell with that. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think it's proper. I'm saying that because if I was the guys, I would not, if someone shot fire crap in my tree, I yeah. sure as hell wouldn't stay up in there. So let's put these guys down here and they're probably going to run off into the cave. They don't like the magic bit. The, la the magic will spook them. I think. Okay. So let's two, three, four, five. Let's see. Six, seven. And one's been hit. Just kind of memorizing what's going on. All right, your turn. Okay, I'm going to, um, I'm still 120 feet. I'm going to um, do a firebolt one more time. Okay. I'm just gonna, and I'm going to shoot at number two again. Okay, good. That would be a hit. That's a hit. Okay, he is dead. Number two is dead. All right. And then I step back three feet. <laughs> I love your attitude. Okay, so two is dead. Okay, you step back three feet. Right. Okay. Uh, that's nice. Um, Just in case they want to throw javelins again. Okay, so their movement will now be a run of 20 feet. Okay. And then they'll toss javelins. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You should have moved back 21 feet. I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You know what they do? They would really do? Because you're doing magic. They would all run into the cave. Okay. They're going to use their pack mentality and their dark vision to an advantage. So they're all in here now. All right. Okay. Uh, I two's gone. What am I doing? So you can imagine that they're all inside the cave. Okay. Because you're using magic to spook the hell out of them. Sure. All right. So you get some time to think about what you're going to do next. Yeah. Um, okay. 
Well, again, um, if this was any other um, thing, I would leave and live. But you to, don't have that option. <laughs> you don't have that option. So I, um, I would not keep going with this. It yeah. just sounds, there's seven of them that went in there. One of them yeah. down at one hit point, but you know, yeah, bad stuff happens. Okay, so, but with this, with this, we got to go in. So, around me. Are there any stones, rocks, anything that are that's around me? Yeah, I, I would say, yeah. Why not? So, like, how many how many small stones do I find? <laughs> this is really important. <laughs> You're lying to me. No. I know. Maybe okay. Maybe four, five. Four. I have no idea what we're doing here, but this sounds awesome. Okay. okay. You find about maybe four. How big do you want these stones? I want, I want like stones that you would put in a sling. Ah, I see where you're going. Okay. All right. So you find slingable stones, probably about six. Okay. That would actually fit in a swing. Otherwise, they're too heavy or they're so little. What's the sense? Right. Okay. All right. So for these six stones that I find. Okay. Every six seconds, I, I'm going to cast light on each one of them. All right. Okay. So each one of them, you know, and I'm I'm going to put them in my pouch that I have. So I now have six stones that have light cast on them. Okay. So, so six no stones. One. I am so confused. But yes. Okay. You have six stones with light. Right. So. Okay. So again, to be up and straight and honest what's going on so so note that six rounds have gone by so these guys ran in so six okay. rounds of combat because i okay. can only do this i can cast the cantrip once every round right okay so, i got you okay okay you're fine i was gonna let you do it that's no big deal okay got you yeah. go yeah All so right. so they've got six rounds of doing whatever they're doing i don't know what they're doing in there oh uh, right? they're doing something bad right okay okay so um, I'm going to appra approach the cave entrance, but I'm going to approach from the side. Okay. okay. All right. From what um, side? I'm not this side? Uh, sure. But one of okay. the sides. I'm not All standing right. directly in front of the damn thing. Okay. You're here. All right. Right. And gotcha. I'm a human. So I'm going to, with my mage hand. Okay. Put the stone with the light in the mage, mage hand. Oh, cool. All right. I like this. Keep going. That thing can float like 30 feet, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And I'm going to appear around the corner and I'm going to put the stone 30 feet in and I'm going to see what I see. But I'm just, but I'm peering around the corner and I'm looking. And if I see anything bad, I'm going to whip my head back around. So you got to put your head right here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping that a kobold's not right there. <laughs> so where's the mage hand the mage hand i am floating it down um 30 feet in there okay. so it's so it's going to be lighting up that entire area hopefully giving them disadvantage because it's, it's only in sunlight they get disadvantage oh well damn okay, okay. well it goes i'm going to move it 30 feet in all right okay right mm-hmm so as you're moving this in, right, yeah. you see one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, lining the walls. Oh, good Lord. Well, they got their daggers out. <laughs> and they see the mage hand floating right down to the center. Right. And right now you're going to do a stealth check against their perception check. So what's okay. your stealth gonna be? What's your what's your thing on stealth? My thing on stealth. Your decks. What's your decks? Sorry. So my dex is sixteen, so it's plus three. So I have a plus three to stealth. Okay. And these guys have let's go down to here. Uh wisdom's plus two. Okay, so you get a plus one. Let's roll. You roll a D twenty, I roll a D twenty to see if they see you during this. What'd you roll? I rolled a five. Oh, no. That's, yeah, that's not, not good. good. So I think it's only the first two guys are going to notice you sticking your head around. So I'll roll two of them. 
So if they shoot, okay, well, you've been able to essentially you got a six. Yeah, six, yeah. Okay, both of them see you. So well, those those two are going to go and try to attack you. Okay. Right within the corner of the darkness. So they're going to make attacks. They get plus four. They're in and out of the thing, and they get, uh, I'm going to say, it's still somewhat a wash on advantage, disadvantage, because mm -hmm. they got pack mentality attack. Yeah. Okay, so this is how this is going to go. So these are dry attacks. They, they're getting plus four on both of them, but there's, it's not disadvantage nor advantage. So they both miss you. Oh, you nice. You duck back out into the light. Lucky. Okay. Baby. Lucky baby. You get out of the way of them. So your mage hand. Now, does the mage hand, and this, I'm asking weird questions here. Whoops. Yeah. Does the mage hand ha require concentration? No, that's the weird. Oh, that's, 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 the thing, that. that's none of the spells I have require concentration. So how does it know where to stop? Um, Because I basically guide it. You know, I, it, it's, it's, I think it's. I think I have to visually see it. Um, okay, so now you can't see it. That's what I'm asking. You well, see then, it just, then it drops. Um, I could, but I could drop it. Oh, okay. So, so the floating hand. So the stone's going to stop and illuminate at this point. So the hand vanishes if it ever moves more than thirty feet away from you. If you cast the spell in. Um, so 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 what my so what my idea was that I was putting it in there and I was going to send it thirty feet down and then as it vanishes. It's going to drop that stone. That stone's going to ah. be lit in there. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and make a, a circle. Say so if the stone fell here. Okay. All right. That's what I'm thinking. You, it lights up a 20-foot thing, right? 20 foot is in bright light, and then 20 feet beyond that is dim light. Okay. So it's going to cast, I guess, it's, a shadow? 40, 40 feet of light. Um, It'd be like this. If you could imagine, but that's in the rock, so it doesn't really matter. So this is your this is your vantage point with the illumination. It's not gonna it's not gonna go down here because the light. Well, I guess it goes down to about here. Yeah. Right. So yeah, that's good. So, but then, oh, wrong. Sorry. Yeah. And then it's you don't know it's gonna go this way some, but it's the way this is cutting off. This is still being darkness over here. Yeah. Right. Okay. 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 So that's. So if if they attack, then do I go now, or is it initiative? Uh, yeah, I believe we'd be at the initiative round. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna seem about right, but you could decide what you want to do. Yeah, go ahead. We roll for initiative. Let's do it. Go. Um. Well, okay. Yeah, okay. Oh well, I, I'm dead. Roll a four. Oh, well, I only have to roll one. Oh. I rolled a two, Mike. <laughs> I'm giving you, I'm giving you what we call the benefit of a two. <laughs> I want to see what you're gonna do. I'm too, right. I'm too interested in your character. Let him die. This guy's got some plans. I'm gonna see what he does. Yeah. Right? All right. So at this point, <sighs> I, I go home. <laughs> I was <laughs> hoping to save it, but it's not gonna happen. He would cast sleep spell. Okay. And he's going to cast sleep spell and he's going to aim it um, at the stone. Yeah, where the stone is and hopefully grab every, all the creatures around that stone. Okay. So let's do sleep. Now, sleep is a great spell. I don't, are you, you got to put it on the stone, right? Yeah. Well, I'm going to center on the stone. It's a 90 foot range. Okay. The spell will send creatures into a magical slumber. Roll 5d8. The total is how many hit points of creatures this spell can affect. Creatures okay. within 20 feet of the point you choose within range are affected in ascending order. Okay. All right. So, if I, did, so if I did 5d8. Good. Oh, I rolled high. Two eights, two fives, and a two. So that's 12 plus eight, 20 hit points. Yeah. That's four guys. What's wrong? Oh, no. I'm Okay, I'm just making sure. Okay. Is that so, right? 
Yeah, I think you're right. Um, it is because if they're five hit points each, they'll, they'll take out the weakest one first. We'll take out one. Yeah, he'll go down. So actually, I don't know why I did that. I should just circle him. Okay. Yeah. Stupid. Well, I just circle him. So once asleep, this one will be asleep. Actually, if we start from the back, where the where the spell was cast from, I guess. Yeah. Right. Let's do this. I gotta clean this up now, Meg. Made yeah. a big horrible mess of my fun here. Let's put this. Let's go back to blue. Uh, good enough. Right one. This is one, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, cool. Now, let me go back to the color. So eight. So one, two, three, four. I'll do this. I'll say the guy's closest. Two, three, four. I'll even let you keep that rinky dink guy. Okay. Right. Well, so nice if you thing. get to introduce some sticky sticky with a your dagger dagger or whatever the hell, it's still an option. Right. Okay. There we go. Right. So, uh, yeah. yeah so they go down. Doop, 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 yeah. doop. Okay. God, the swords of wizardry spell is so much more powerful. Why? Wow, that's funny. Anyways, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I, 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 you would knock them all out. He knocked these guys all back out here. We yeah. got there. Yeah. But yeah. Go ahead. Anyways, that's, that's what I was hoping is. to do. Didn't yeah, <laughs> no, did not. <laughs> just like I was gonna sleep, you gonna knock them all out, but no, yeah. they're still we haven't talked about those guys yet. All right, okay. Um, yeah, after the bodies hit the floor, right? Yeah, uh, these guys would definitely, I uh, one and three were still coming out, but I think four would come out too. Actually, you think four would, what would four do? Four would run back. No, four would continue. They would do yeah. the whole pack thing. Yeah. They're gonna, they're gonna come around you. So, let's put them out here. So I got one, uh, three, and four. I, I have them in the there so I can see them. Otherwise, I can't yeah. see them. They're all gonna try attacking you. And it's just even though they got pack. Yeah. Um. Shoot. Okay. So let's do this. This will be, uh, three. Because advantage disadvantage cancels out, so let's roll this thing. If they get, they gotta get a sixteen. I gotta get a twelve. They hit you. Yeah. Two get twelve. Two hit fifteen, and you got a fifteen and a fourteen. He's he's gone. He's gone. Unless, if I would, as a reaction, five, six, seven, eight, nine hit points. Yeah. He'd be dead. As a reaction, he could cast shield, but that would be his last spell. Then he'd be dead anyway, going forward into the thing. Um, would he be able to cast shield? As a as a reaction, because you would on the first attack, as a reaction, I would cast shield. Shield would so he'd shield. stop one of them. No, it would stop all of them because his AC would go up to twenty <clears throat> until the next turn. What would his AC go up to? Twenty one. It would be five plus his sixteen. So, if the would the fifteen still hit? No, no, because it stops at nineteen. So yeah, I guess if we were really yeah, that's what I would do is I would cast shield as a reaction, but then all my spell slots are gone. Do it anyways. Okay. If you were the dude, would you want to survive? Yeah. Well, okay, you're so, so quick with throwing a towel. I, uh, it's okay. like, if, was that is that what Kvetch would do? Just quit? Oh, no, okay. no, of course not. So Kvetch casts shield. So how does that work the way you're saying it? Because he, he, you got hit, then you're going to say I retroactively cast a spell. Is that how when you when you uh, my understanding from the the rules as written when you roll the dice and you determine what that roll is. I have an opportunity as a reaction because it's a reaction spell. That's the weird thing about shield. It gives you this bonus of plus five to your AC, but it's only good for that round. That round. Time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That sucks. All right. Yeah. So you're blocked. Okay. Yeah. You're still alive. Yeah. I'm still alive, but I blocked all those attacks because it gives me an AC of 21. For that I get it. Time. I get it. It only lasts for one. Okay. All right. It makes sense. Okay. Yeah. All right, so yeah, you're still alive. Okay, okay, let's not kill him. All right, let's. So now we're back to the initiative order, and I guess it's you. 
Yeah, because because they attacked and with with five E it would be my turn. And yeah. um, what I would do, um, I would yell real loudly. Uh-huh. And I'm going to, I get to attack and move. I'm I'm going to cast firebolt. Okay. Um. Oh, but again, I think his rules is written. No. What? Rules is written. I think I get disadvantage if I'm within five feet, and they're and they're right on top of me, right? Right. Okay, so then I'm going to swing with my dagger. What firebolt? You? It's disadvantage if you're too close. If if I'm within five feet, because it's because it's explode in your face. Oh my god, that's too funny. Because it's a range attack. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing you've been reading up on this crap. I don't remember all this. That's too funny. But I mean, that's we're learning yeah. it. Well, I'm going to then, but, on that number one guy, I'm just yeah. going to whip out, well, no, no, it's because I'm going to run the other direction. I'm going to attack number four with my dagger, and then I'm yeah. going to run 30 feet. Fair enough. Go ahead. Damn. I missed the guy, and I ran 30 feet. So I didn't disengage. So they get an opportunity attack, right? <laughs> yes, they do. Oh my god! I should have disengaged and ran. Anyway, that's it. Dead. <laughs> that's it. It's over now. I mean, they get a plus two. What if we learned? Let's talk about what we learned. I love it. We go down memory lane. What do we learn? We learned that the sleep spell is not as powerful <laughs> in sword in in five e as it is in swords and wizardry. Yeah, they nerfed that. They ruined that spell. God, Swords of Wizardry, that's the Mac Daddy spell. That would have knocked them all out. Yeah. Just to, just as a comparison, because Kobolds are first level. Right. You would have been able to roll. I'm going to look it up because it's too impressive to not talk about now. Swords of Wizardry. And it is 2d8 affected. So let's see if you would have knocked out the crew. Go ahead, roll 2d8, Mike. Let's see if you would have knocked out... So they had what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here and six behind you. I rolled a two. Oh my god! <laughs> but but the eight would have done it. How do you you rolled two ones? My god, good? it's a the world's against you today, man. Yeah, I think you should right. just go. I think you need to go to bed and sleep it off. I think it's ruined. It's, yeah. Oh my That's god. But hey, you know what? This was interesting. I kind of liked the five E one on one thing. It didn't work. But I kind of liked your. I like your thinking. I kind of like the way you're, because it's a different style, and therefore well, I think you know I'm not. Look, I, I'm always poo pooing five yeah. E, but I think it, in the right hands, it's probably fun. But- let me tell you. Let me let me tell you what my let me tell you what my plans were going to be. All right. If I didn't have to cast the find familiar in the beginning, right? What yeah. I would do. Let's say. Let's say I saw them from a distance. Okay. And I could cast firebolt and keep moving back, right? Okay. Keep moving back, cast firebolt, keep moving back if they're coming at me. Okay. If it's okay, they, we're starting here. All right, go ahead. What was your what was your next step? Well, I was hoping they were gonna come after me. Because then okay. I would move, you know, 30, 40, you know, I could move 30 feet and then I could fire firebolt, move 30 feet, fire firebolt, keep moving. When we get up, so I was hoping I could kill all of them out there with firebolt. Didn't happen. Uh-huh. Then I could, but let's say some did run in. Then I would spend some time. Now, this is where you probably have them come out and kill me. But <laughs> I would I would cast Find Familiar as a ritual spell. Okay. And I'd cast Find Familiar as a spider. Okay. I would send the spider into the thing. Now, this is the part that would really piss you off. I'd focus on the spider, and I'd walk the spider all the way through the entire friggin' dungeon. Okay. So I'd know where they are, how many okay. they were, okay. what the layout was, you know, what was going on, right? Sure. Then I, then my hope was that while I'm doing that, right, I would have gathered up all of their slings and all their stones. I was hoping that they would have the slings and the stones. And I'm casting light on like, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 of these freaking stones. <laughs> okay. Okay. Keep going. Right. 
So right. then I could use the mage hand or I could toss them in there. You know, I could sling them at people and it'd be lighting up the area. Or if not, I would purchase the fine familiar on me and use the fine familiar and look through the fine familiar with dark vision. Owl has dark vision like 120 feet. The problem is though that depends on how wonky you get with the fine familiar. I don't right. know if I can attack looking through the familiar's eyes. I know I could cast a spell through the fine through the familiar, but at least with a spider, I'd get the layout. The other thing is the spider can attack. Hmm. It has poison, so it could. But that was part of what I was doing. And then the other part is I was, I was hoping to save the sleep spell, and I was hoping the sleep spell would be a little bit more um, dramatic, I guess. But five times eight is forty hit points. That's all he's it's 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 gonna do. So on average, it's gonna it is gonna do on average what? It says a familiar can't attack. Oh, okay. Well the well familiar can't attack. Then oh what they can do it rolls its own initiative and acts on its own turn, but it cannot it attack. attack. Okay. And it, and it take it's... it could take other actions as normal. So I don't know if you could Oh. Yeah. yeah. So, so, but no, so now basically use it for sight. Yes. Sight or, and sense. That's or, what you're doing with it. Or if, but if I was able to litter the place with these lit stones, then it would be an irritant to them and I'd be able to see. Yeah. But still, that's not getting you past a point. You're still going to get crushed. I mean, I yeah. see what you're doing. I like it. But see, Right there, Once you get to hear it. these guys, whether there's light or not, the only thing is the sunlight, they're subterranean. So yeah. they're fine underground. Yeah. So that, and and so they get the advantage, the pack, it, pack advantage down here is really what they should be doing. But I don't know. It's I, I think it's a little, these things are a little overpowered compared to what yeah. I remember these things, right? You. And then oh, we haven't talked about, we haven't talked about that. <laughs> we skipped that room entirely. Yeah. What is that? What room is that? Oh, it's room two with it's the rats. rats. We, we don't want to even talk rats. about that one. All right. Um, of course, you get past that. You're there, and then you have these guys. Yeah. And even then, if you try to sleep, was it 48, 5d8? Yeah. And you got 5D8. 20 hit points? So you'd have one more of these guys to have to deal with, at least, before you get to these clowns down here. Yeah. This is where it gets bad. This guy's got 26 hit points. Yeah, I, I'm 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 sure you're right. I, so this first level guy is not gonna be able to do it. I mean, it would be. Um, I mean, it's funny he got all these cantrips. I really thought you were gonna like, kind of walk through it. It was sort of weird. They kind of got stopped. Well, you know what happened is like really played the kobold straight this time. If you're if they're yeah. subterranean car uh, creatures, honestly, and all of a sudden you struck it with fire, yeah. it's gonna get the hell out of a tree and go back in the cave. There's no way they would sit out there and get picked off from 100, 200 feet. They would throw once, and then they would run into the cave. That's Which how you do. Yeah. And they would definitely use their fighting tactics together. Just, they're in a Volvo's guide. Have you read that? They're kind of interesting. They're like yeah. little, look like little dragons, basically. So you got to think they wouldn't just sit out there and let themselves get picked off. And um, that was one thing people had a problem with. Not really had a problem. They, I think it was Chuck that actually said something. The fact that um, in the comments of one of our games, like we're letting that fighter just shoot a slew of arrows. <laughs> he says, I think that the uh, getting multiple attacks on one hit dice creatures only works in melee. But it doesn't say it. So we played it the way we wanted to play it. So, right. And I like the way we played it. In fact, I would keep that a rule. I mean, the thing is, you run out of arrows. You run out of bullets. That's the thing. That's a bad thing about it. You only can carry so many on you. It's always yeah. been standard in my in my game. You could carry twelve on you, a, and then you could have twelve pack. And it takes a turn to switch them over. So you'll go through them real quick, and then you're kind of on your own, right? So, but I think it's sort of fun that um, it's played like that. It's like one of the big advantages of having a fighter like that that can do that. And he's the only one that could do it. The yeah. paladin doesn't get to do it. The ranger doesn't get to do it. Yeah. He gets that one ability, and I, you know, why not? It kind of makes it fun. So I don't yeah. know. Oh, I, yeah. I'm not going to say no if you're going to let me be able to do it. I, 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 I could see Chuck's point though of just li limiting it to melee. Um, but no, I don't. I think it should be with the bow too. I don't have a problem. 
I would keep it like you got a bow. You can fling it out there and go crazy. I, I just think it makes it more interesting. You'll run out of arrows. You yeah. can't carry more than 24 hours. That's the limit. Okay. And you can only retreat back half. So if we're yeah. playing a game, that's how I would play it. Like, I don't think, like, Megan's character, Bryn, 15th yeah. level, she could shoot 30 arrows. Wow. At first level characters, but she doesn't carry 30 but arrows. <laughs> Actually, you're not running into one hit dice monster. You know, no, you know. She's that's... at, she's, yeah, even the, the hugger monsters are like, Swords of Wizardry, what I, I mean, what I experienced is that we just hard, we rarely had the fighter do the multiple hits because, again, so rarely do we fight one hit deep, hit die crit critters. We just rarely do that. So the levels no. And even like an orc, like yeah. I was doing a comparison thing. Um, I guess we could stop this meat thing because I'm going to stop the recording because this could be hard to edit. He's, he's dead. Convention's dead. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs>